A shallow well jet pump is ideal for the supply of fresh water to rural homes, farms, and cabins. This pump is suitable for installations where the vertical distance from the pump to the water level does not exceed 25 feet, including drawdown. Let's review how to install a Red Lion shallow well jet pump. Turn off the main water supply and the power at the main breaker. Open a nearby faucet to release the water pressure in the system. Once all the water and pressure is released, turn off the faucet. Modify the existing plumbing as required to allow for proper installation of the pump system. The pump suction inlet is one and a quarter inch FNPT, and the discharge is a one inch FNPT fitting. Deviating from these pipe sizes can change how the pump performs. For best pump performance, the inlet size plumbing should not be reduced. Plumbing adapters can be used on the outlet or discharge pipe, but are not recommended. Seal and tighten the threads of the suction and discharge openings on the pump with PTFE tape or thread compound. Do not over tighten the connections as this could crack the fittings. Make sure all joints are airtight, as even a pinhole can prevent proper operation of the pump. Install a pressure relief valve in the discharge line that is rated to handle pump flow at 75 pounds per square inch, or PSI. Install a pressure gauge into the 1 8 inch NPT hole on the front of the casing, opposite the pressure switch. For systems with a tank, make sure the pre-charge pressure of the tank is 28 PSI, as this pump's pre-charge pressure, or the pressure at which the pump will start, is 30 PSI. Some people choose to add unions and valves to allow system service without disabling the complete water supply. This pump comes with a dual voltage motor and is factory set for 230 volt. Ensure the voltage indicator matches the voltage at the power source. Do not connect to voltage other than that shown. To change the voltage, disconnect the power supply to the pump. Next, remove the cover. Remove the black terminal block and shift over to the 115 volt location. Then press the block back onto both terminals with the block's arrow pointing to 115 volts. Reassemble the pressure switch cover and the terminal box cover. Wire the connections. Connect the power lines to the pressure switch terminals marked L1 and L2. For more information, reference your product owner's manual. Thanks for watching.